Hello everyone and welcome back to our adventures here in Jameson Wildlife Park where we are doing our very best to try to educate some of these guests so that we can go ahead and win the beaver medal and uh, tromp out of here to put beavers in all of our franchise zoos and try out the game Timberborn at some point which I told myself I cannot play until we have gone ahead and we have somehow beaten ah I am missing different habitat species now no <laughs> I told myself we cannot play Timberborn until we manage to beat this challenge. And this challenge is just continuing to get a little bit more challenging. However, we do seem to be increasing the education of a lot of the different guests. A whole bunch of them just skedaddled all over the place too. I have no idea where they think they're going. All of the yummy food is over here. Can they not access the food again? Like, has something happened? Oh, my chef has gone away! Oh no! If there's no vendor, oh thank goodness, somebody is coming to open it up. Della, you are amazing. Let's go ahead and give you a Patreon name of, let's see, next up is going to be Leanna. So thank you very much to Chef Leania. Le Le hmm. What a beautiful name. You're going to be over here. We're going to actually have you be maybe like the carrot chef because I've been reading Dragon's Dragons by Terry Pratchett lately and one of the main characters names is Carrot. So I have carrots on the mind. But she has gone ahead and now opened up this area. So we'll have her come and work in Sill Hills. And hopefully we'll have a lot of hungry people show up and start uh, eating here and get caught by our little education billboards as they go. But speaking of those education billboards, I have been watching people learn from them. So we're at, let's see, 44 right now. It went up to 48 just a second ago. All right, we need to go ahead and watch. Let's, let's wait for a new batch of people to approach and stop to read these education spots. All right, who's a new batch? How about these guys right here? So they're at 16 education right now. Are they are they still going on? No, they're headed straight to the restaurant. All right, so they didn't stop. I need to wait for a batch of people to stop and read the signs. All right, this group this group just stopped. Okay, so they're at 28 right now for this basic sign and now they're at 32. So those signs do help a little bit, but I think they help a lot more. So they're headed to Restaurant Rocks now, so they can come and look at this little guy. If, let's see if they read about the Brazilian wandering spiders. We don't have a lot of information about the Brazilian wandering spiders. But maybe if they read a little bit about it. I want to see which one of the education billboards, oh my goodness gracious, everybody is so hungry, is possibly the best. So now they're reading the information board. So how much do they get from a animal we don't have really any info about? 36, so that barely did anything, noted. In fact, I think they lost some of their education because we didn't have any information about that little guy. Okay, so it's actually pretty important to make sure you have lots and lots of education. And in order to educate your guests, they have to be happy. So a lot of these people, very poor education, very thirsty, very hungry. Uh, I don't have another enough room for another restaurant over here. However, we're going to go ahead and well, I don't want to we're going to move some of these trees around. All right, come here you. All right, let's see. There we go. And then let's make another little spot right over here. No, 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 I don't want to connect it up back there. That would just be chaos. I mean, that would be kind of fun chaos, but it would absolutely be chaos. Yeah, that would actually be kind of fun for people to be able to come up and see the, the frogs from behind. Oh no, now I'm really tempted. That actually might be kind of cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, oh, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to make it so people can come over and they can come see our frogs from this angle if they want to. Uh, people don't have any information about these frogs. No wonder. All right, we're gonna get some more information down in the form of some little education locations, even though this is gonna be somewhat chaotic. I think there's a better education spot we could put here. All right, let's make this happen. I want our guests to get a little bit smarter. Serious injury discovered. Oh, our foxes are starting to fight, okay. We need to call a vet over. I need to clear out some of these foxes because we have too many. All right, so let's 
select all these foxes. Oh, there's a lot of foxes fighting. All right, let's select all. And then let's go ahead and adopt out a lot of the males. Hmm. All right, let me actually adopt out one of the males and a few of the females. And then we're going to go ahead and put them all on contraceptives because they're all related at this point, I think. There we go. I think they should stop fighting now that we have taken care of. There we go. All right. Gosh, I love listening to them talk. That's just so interesting. All right, people are starting to wiggle up over here to come and look at the frogs. I think this is a cool angle to see them because you can kind of look from below a little bit better. However, if they're gonna come learn about our frogs, we need to have a good spot. All right, let's uh, turn off blueprints for just a second. They just need like tiny, small habitat sign. Habitat education board, exhibit education board. Isn't there a little itty bitty one? All right, I guess this is the only little itty bitty one and we're gonna have to add it in at a very odd angle. Actually, that kind of looks cool. Oh, that actually looks really cool. <laughs> Will this work? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that zookeeper should totally not be floating in midair, but that's just the way things are right now. And then here's our information about the American bullfrog. So I think what we need is we need, uh, and now the American bullfrogs are actually struggling. So hang on, I'm coming. I bet we have too many bullfrog babies again. Sure enough, we do. All right, we'll leave James and Natasha, but remove all the other bullfrogs. There we go. And we need to get a few more exhibit signs. And then I think we need like lots and lots of information about the American bullfrog for people to pay more attention to them. All right, there's one there. And then we'll put in a big speaker that hopefully won't, okay, there's a speaker here. So we'll shrink it down a little bit and then I'm gonna put a habitat I'll put the speaker at the back over here. There we go. I'm going to need to go ahead and edit it, so. Let me come on in. I love that you climb up to the little, the little bullfrogs. Oh, we were almost at three stars for just a second. Oh, that got me way too excited because we were working so hard in all of these little spots to make people slightly more educated. There we go. So now we've got a little bit more over here. The restaurant seems to be moving quickly. Ah, oh, the American bison are going to be fighting. All right, let's get Imbri adopted out. Imbri, can you be adopted out? Maybe not. All right, Tyson. Imbri is our old boy. All right, let's send Tyson to the Trade Center for now. There we go. The watching them fight is kind of educational in its own way. Uh, and then how are people feeling? Are they still thirsty, happy, not very happy? What do you need? What do you need to make your happiness? Wow. I would have thought I could have stayed longer to see the Timberwolves. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're unhappy. Education zero, heading to restaurant one. Sir, I hope we catch you. Let's see, thirst, hunger. Maybe I'll put like a little, maybe I'll do some, some other kinds of sales over here. Let's see, there's the bakery counter. I wanna sell, there's the hot dog squad. There's the restaurant smoothie counter. What I really wanna sell and I wish we had a counter for is actually all of the merchandise. Cause I think the merchandise would be so much fun. All right, so I want a small shop shell that we'll go ahead and put down. Maybe New World? Have I unlocked the New World? Is there a New World? Oh, there we go. The New World kind of contrasts with everything that we're trying to put in here. Unfortunately, it's the truth of the matter is just that the Arctic shells work best, but I'll try to remove the fire. All right, we'll go ahead and put this in and then let's do merchandise let's do hats fantastic and maybe that'll make people happy enough that they'll get their education up 
And then we'll focus on going through and adding more actual, like, education spots in just a second here. Okay. Serious philosophy is if you add in enough miscellaneous random things that don't seem to have any relation to the project you're working on, eventually it'll all work out. All right, let's see. I'm gonna tuck this back here. And then when people come for their hats, we will once again snag them with some miscellaneous education billboards. So I have now basically made this into a maze of education spots. And people are stopping and they're looking, so I'm not going to question it. Oh, is this a spot that doesn't have any electricity? All right, fine. I will give up on that location. All right, let's put population fragmentation in here. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this into our work zone. Whoop. Yes, our vets are researching more things. Good. So we'll switch from researching about... Uh, we need the American bullfrog. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Yay, and now people are wearing more hats. Okay, good. That makes me happy. All right, so I think that this zone is actually helping us out a little bit. So we are actually up to 2.5 on education for just a brief second. The more research we can do about the actual animals we have, the better. So on that note, I feel like we need more researchers and maybe, of course, I'm going to need more research spots for our researchers. All right, let's actually come back here into this somewhat weirdly abandoned zone. And we're going to add in some research staff facilities. I can't believe I didn't think about this. We're not going to like research faster if I don't have places for the researchers to go. Um, and we can get a couple new world, maybe a big, we'll get a big new world research facility in here. Why not? Like we'll go whole hog and be like, yes, this is where our researchers come to study a whole bunch of the different types of animals. Thank you very much. All right, and we'll add this into our work zone. Timberborn, I'm coming for you. No, 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 not beaver. We need that into Sill Hills, please. Okay, add this, add this, add this. There we go. And then let's go ahead and we'll assign a, a flurry of researchers back here real quick. And then also give promotions to the other staff members. And then here's a vet. We'll get you three in. And then I'm actually going to grab you. You're going to be in Sill Hills, please. Grab you, Sill Hills. Grab you, Sill Hills. All right. I had to grab those guys real quick and we'll rename them. This is going to be Andy. So this is going to be expert researcher Andy. There we go. And then this is going to be Okapi. So this is going to be expert uh, science science coordinator Okapi. Welcome, welcome once again, Okapi. Oh. Helping us to keep things moving and grooving thanks to being one of our amazing patrons. And then we have Annie. So this is going to be, let's see. How about uh, research grant winner Annie? There we go. And then hopefully we'll get everybody there trained up and also starting to research some of the animals. I think they'll go kind of slow until they get higher up on the, the like level. Um, lab beaker breaker, <laughs> Ty. Oh my gosh, hey Ty. Uh, let's see, who do I want? We'll have the expert researchers just start work on the ones that are close by. I don't think the Brazilian wandering spider is going to get as much attention as, say, the grizzly bears. Let's see. So I'll have researcher Andy get relocated over to the grizzly bear area. And researcher Silver, let's do black tailed prairie dog. And that's a lot of research. Maybe not enough that's actually like assigned to do other things, but we'll just have to leave that for a minute. All right. So how are we doing now? 2.5! Slowly but surely getting there. Let's actually check out the education. So again, it seems to be a lot of our new guests who are really slowing things down over here. 
and a lot of the guests over here, which surprises me because I would have thought with like the signs, maybe what we need, oh, vet research complete. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, learning a little bit more about the sea lions. Mechanic research complete. Good, good, good. Uh, but I would have thought we would have had like a lot more education going on over with our little prairie dogs and our bison, but apparently not. Um, we've got a lot of little education spots that people are working on. Where are my talkie talkie points? Here we go. Let me grab this. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot of spots where people actually have the audio. Got it. Okay, what? Why is this one misassigned? Oh, it's not even assigned! No wonder! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna fix this, friends. We're gonna get some research chattering in everybody's ears. Over here and over here and over here. Okay, I don't need one right there. And we're gonna have everybody listen to things about prairie dogs. Okay, and we'll shrink this down just a touch. And then this, this one over here is going to teach them all about American bison. Good, good. And then we'll add in a couple more of these. They're big and garish, but at least they get people to stop and look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, in fact, I think what I should maybe add in are maybe some more educators. Like, I wonder if that would actually help us out. Oh, look, it's me! Cool! There I am, just standing with everybody. That's so nice. Uh, all right, maybe I should add in some education stations with the actual educators. Let's see how much an educator increases education. Because I haven't really looked, I've been researching more and more by like staring at when people research uh, what they're learning. But I haven't actually, like here's an animal talk point. That's what I mean. Like when we have these animal talk points, how much does that actually raise the education compared to otherwise? All right, let's come over. This is going to be about the prairie dogs. And then let's get this one linked to prairie dogs as well. We can throw food for the prairie dogs. And then let's hire a new educator. And this is going to be Dragon Blade. All right, so Dragon Blade, welcome, welcome. We're gonna have you be part of Sill Hills. And you, my friend, are going to go ahead and be a prairie dog, a prairie grass, Explorer Dragonblade. There, that's awesome. All right, we'll increase your training and then let's get this in March. Okay, March seems like a fairly soon time for people to come and get some education. Um, audience capacity 50. There's a lot of people here right now. Maybe I should make one of those. Oh, ooh, ooh. let's connect the paths over here. Because places where people get congested of, in in like their their walking paths, are not going to be very good for us when it comes to getting people educated. There, so maybe that'll help out a little bit, moving some things around, so people can go back and forth over here. And if you're gonna come down this way, I will give you benches, but you also have to be educated. There you go. You just can't back off with the signs. I like that. It kind of reminds me in Let's Build a Zoo, every time you add any kind of sign, even if it's a menu sign, uh, it ends up helping the people. Oh, I don't want my cougars to interbreed, please. No, there we go. But every time you add any kind of sign, it ends up going ahead and increasing the education that your zoo offers, which I think is really nifty. All right. And then we'll come over. And what I'm looking for are benches for my. There's so many people. Oh my gosh. All right. And let's do. I kind of like these aquatic benches for this area. Because in the Appalachian Mountains, you often have spots that are kind of surrounded by. Oh, oh, who escaped? Yosemite again! 
<laughs> our tiny little American alligator. I like that he's our little escapee. But you often have spots that have a lot of like rock displays in the Appalachian Mountains, which I've always appreciated quite a bit. All right, so I feel like we're doing better. People are starting to get a little bit more food. There's a very large restaurant that, that are taking care of a whole bunch of our guests. Uh, we might come in here and how are people's happiness? Pretty miserable. Guest history. Just time at different locations was just okay. Zoo is clean and tidy. The educational speakers were well laid out. Um, a lot of time walking. The ticket price was good to value. They're hungry. Oh gosh, they're gonna die of thirst. No wonder they're they're unhappy. Oh look, I never noticed the kids will actually sit with their legs crossed. That is adorable. All right, so I think we're doing a pretty good, all considering, uh, over over yonder for how our guests are behaving and what we have to offer them. Um, I think I'll put in maybe another spot. Just another small little spot to the side that might offer them just like this. That might offer them some vending machines real quick. I kind of like doing these like sideways vending machines where there's just like a couple benches Put down a quick wee what is with this all right all right put down a quick little there we go oh yeah a moose is having a baby that's wonderful and then guest facilities drinks let's put in some coffee machines and then let's put in the Missy Good, because that actually seems like such a treat, if you ask me, if you could just come over and have like a nice hot drink and then also have a delicious, delicious cupcake. And while we're over here, let's actually pop over to the moose area and we'll kind of hide that little corner with this gorgeous tree thing that we made. Oh, look, and guests are already over here. I love it so much. One of the things I've always adored about our Planet Zoo adventures is how you just have no idea. There we go. How you just have no idea how how the different needs that the guests provide you every day, like I need this, I need that, are going to end up completely shaping like what you end up doing. Oh, this is so cute. But hopefully like once you feed them and potty them, then the guest will start getting more education. Also, oh, yes, okay. So there is a speech currently going on about the black-tailed prairie dogs. She is level two, so she's capable now. Oh, how did she not keep the name that we gave her? Who was that? Was that Dragonblade? I think that was Dragonblade. All right, so we're gonna keep an eye on this person. They're at level 12, or they're at 12% education right now. So I wanna make sure we're aware okay so it's over 100 percent mind blown that's what we need friends that's what we need just endless animal talking points it looks like each one lasts roughly uh roughly about a month to two months so we're just gonna put in like multiple animal talking points and line them on up and we're just gonna chat all year round about our prairie dogs. Thank you very much. Okay, this is very exciting. All right, excellent, excellent. So there's August and then we'll set another one in November. <laughs> and we'll add in like one more over here that we'll go ahead and have in February. And now with all of that talk about prairie dogs, all lined up. I'm sure that that's going to raise the guest education very quickly. I hope. It's still 2.2. It went down. <laughs> All right, we'll do our best. I think we just need to like hire a ton of people and just have them patrol. So we've learned the way. The way is to have a whole bunch of um, educators just scattered all over the place. And to make sure that they're, well, it doesn't seem to matter if they're very capable or not. Oh, here she goes. Yes. Oh, this is the future. This is absolutely the future. All right, we gotta go ahead and rename her again to Prairie Grass uh, Explorer Dragonblade. There, excellent. 
this this is gonna turn out wonderful i just know it but all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure it's still overcrowded and chaotic but i think we're starting to figure out how to make it a little bit better for a whole bunch of our guests if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful prairie dogs and their fantastic grasslands of adventure and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, no!